Alright, cave story demo, our first commentary. It's ten minutes. Not really gonna do much with this, just try and get a format. Music! Suddenly. And so, I guess, Brian, what's your history with cave story, if any? Just the demo, really. Really? Yeah. Because I do have the full game on PC. I haven't finished it, but I've gone a good ways through. I do enjoy it a good bit. Did you enjoy the demo? Or did you even ever finish the demo? I got... I think I did beat it, actually. I got fairly far. Hmm. Yeah, and I was the one who recorded this for um, uh, the commentary and... The yellow, uh, the yellow clothing for a quote there is because I'm playing on normal. I believe if I was playing on difficult, it would be red clothing. And like normal is just his normal uh, clothing getup, which I think is like red. No, no, that's no. This is normal. Oh, this is the normal. Yeah. I always see the caricature in you know red. And I know. I pants. that's hard mode, I believe. Um, make up your mind. At the. In the beginning of this, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right now or what, eventually. I'm going to be going for the map item, but I fail a couple times, so I eventually just say screw it. And, yeah. And now I'm trying to go for the silver locket here. So I can give that to a mom. Oh, what's her name? Not Sue. The cutesy character. Yeah. With the blushies. With the motherfucking blushies. <laughs> yeah. There's a fish and rabbit. Just fishing, there's a fish. Kill it, he's not getting dinner. No dinner for you. Oh look, there's a the cutesy bunny. Fucking blushies! Okay. And Scarface. This is not a mob movie. But um, one thing to know about this demo is that uh, it doesn't start you at the very beginning. It starts you with the Polar Star, which, if you were playing the actual game, you would have to um, uh, go through a little cave area to get before you drop into this area. Um, you just shoot her there, and then, yeah. Peter's gonna get you. You shot an animal. You bastard. It's okay. So yeah, it's blushies. <laughs> She's basically saying that uh, King, the other um, uh, uh, Mimi guy that we knocked over, Scarface, mad at her. Yeah, Scarface. <clears throat> and this here is Balrog, or and, Kool Aid Lunchbox, and Misery. If you name your kid Misery, they're bound to do some crappy stuff like this. Yeah, really. Who names their child Misery? I don't know. Kind of thinking about the same guy who named his offspring Lust, Gluttony, Envy. True. True. All the seven deadly sins. So, here, I ro it's actually kind of funny. If you choose no to this question right here, he will not fight you. Like, he'll just leave. But if you choose yes, like I did, you, you can fight him and then you can get some early experience points. He, he, it really isn't a hard fight. And one nice thing I, I like about this game's bosses, you don't get hurt by touching them. They have to be in the middle of an attack for them to hurt you. That's one thing I didn't actually realize in the demo when I was playing it. Now, obviously, if the uh, enemy itself is, like, spiked, obviously you're gonna get hurt by touching it, but Paper yeah. Mario logic there. Yeah. Defeat of Balrog. You shall not pass. Now, as for whether or not we're ever gonna get to the full game of this, I'm not sure. I mean, that's, I'm sure eventually, but... I could probably do that using a screen capture and download the game on my computer. Yeah. Granted, I'm not sure if my computer is powerful enough, because I'm not running the highest end specs. Yeah. yeah, here I'm going for the map, and I just walk off. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. Take two? I will say, I really... Don't you fail, like, three times at this? Yeah. I, yeah, I remember, uh, there's just one more time, I believe, but I'm, uh, I really love the music in this game. It's incredible. And this game was fully developed by one guy, right? Uh, yeah, it took them um, five years or so. I don't want to say the number of years and get it wrong, but it was a while. It was a long boy time, and he did a good job. Yeah. Gabe doesn't have the best graphics in the world, but still has enough well, where it has an yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, it's uh, it's going for a more simplistic, like, uh, old school feel, but it also um, uh, is detailed enough where um, uh, 
especially with like say the wall texture it it stands out as a good looking game yeah um yeah here i'm gonna get a health pack basically whenever you get a health pack increase it to your health by three that's pretty much all it is this game has metroid uh kind of like roots but a lot of it is uh, metroid mega man with how the guns work I could say. Well, no, because you can shoot up. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying how, like, you know, you're shooting directions. I'm saying, like, the different guns. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would have I would have told you they more to Contra in that aspect, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, you talk to this guy over here. I don't remember his name. By the way, the little fleshy baby guy. His name is Toroko. Toroko. I just thought of that. And you have the cemetery here with little mushrooms. They probably have plushies, too. The only uh, enemy in here that gives you experience is the Gravekeeper. There's like orange frog looking thing. Oh, so you can't grind enemies in here? No. Well, you can grind that one enemy, but it doesn't give you enough experience for it to be worth it. I played enough RPGs to know where this is going. Six hours later. But the thing is, you don't level yourself up, you only level your gun up, and your gun can only be leveled up to um, uh, what's just considered max, which is one level after level three so four technically yeah arthur's key that lets you get into the house i checked in the very beginning of this little playthrough here which is only lasting a little bit longer to be honest because yeah. well it's a demo yeah and even then i die <laughs> yeah like, before the end yeah, I, I mean, that's just a life refill, refill spot in the full game, there would be a save spot in there as well. I'm off. But basically, I'm off. I, the place where I died was close enough to the end of the demo where I figured I didn't need to, to I'm off, continue. And you, you can't save in the demo, so you, you can't just like respawn from the last place you saved. You have to, start, all you have to start the entire demo over and... <laughs> Yeah, I just didn't want to do it. Ten minutes is fine for just like a little practice commentary. Yeah, just sort of getting used to this idea. I definitely need to get some out. Uh, I want to get more of those. What were they called? Uh, four hounds. Four hounds. Yeah. I want to get more of those just for my throat. Yeah. Brian was destroying his throat in the car when we went out to get dinner. Shame on you, Brian. It was fun though. Now, I'm not sure if I explained this, but these little triangle things that are bouncing around are the experience that you use to level up again. As you see, I'm on level 3, and then pretty soon here I'll be up to a mod. Kill the elephants. Max, which is... Yeah, let's see if I get yep. here. Yep, right there. Under... Well, right next to level 3 it says Max. And then the... Hopper guy is jumping against the wall. Or it's like this guy goes to the bathroom and says, Hurry it's like, up! It looks like he's got a motor running. It's not a Prius. I doubt it'd be a Prius. Yeah. I skip a lot of the health packs because I I feel that I'm good enough at the game that I don't need it. And ironically, the way that I died, I would, with, even if I got all the health packs, that wouldn't have helped me. Because I died by the... Uh, white thing going along the bottom pole which does about 50 to 60 damage to I think you. it does 50. Yeah. I forget the exact number, but it's... It's enough it's, to kill you at this point. Yeah. Enough to uh, brutally, like, wound you even in the later points of the game. It ain't good. Right. And... I'm trying to think when it is, but eventually we're gonna get the missile launcher, which I don't get to show off. Shame on you. Yeah, it's in this room. In that chest up there is the missile launcher. I don't get to show it off because I died before it's a high enough level where it's worth using. Yeah. Because the higher the levels you get, the more missiles it fires off. But even if, you say, you, on level 3 you fire off 3 missiles, it counts as 1 ammo. That's why it's best to not... Sort of like a few weapons of Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, but that's why it's best to, um, uh, in my opinion, to use it uh, once you get full health and only on bosses since it is the only weapon to have limited ammo. These red screens tell us that uh, Dragon Eggs uh, 1 and 6 have errors. So I'm going to backtrack a bit to Egg 6 to um, uh, find the error which will actually get me a key card. Interesting item to hatch an egg for. Yeah. 
The key card is actually to get past Imagine the if you had to do that for normal things, like... To get, like, a roll of toilet paper, you had to, at, to hatch an egg. Hmm. That would be... Yeah, I almost died from it there. Nice job. Don't you have to navigate under to get through this, or no? Uh, no, I just have to go up like that. Platforming. In order to get to the egg itself, though, I have to go under. Yep. And the thing about the white thing, I don't know the official name of it. It doesn't run the whole length. It runs um, uh, basically across the screen and then, then some a little bit. And I'm going past the egg by accident. Um, uh, and then some to a um, mob. Uh, Basically goes across your the screen you're on right now. Basically goes a screen and so half. that it, it it travels a shorter distance than just the entire way. And to get in the egg, you just jump inside, and then there's a key card in that chest. It's big enough for a bedroom. Hmm. A very cramped one, but still a bedroom. Yeah, I guess bigger than Harry Potter. And then that's where I die. Nice job, mate. Yeah. So yeah, that's the end of the Cape Story 